بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپلیکیشنز دس فیچر از ایکس ایم ایل برسٹنگ وچ از یوز ٹو سینڈ ای میل لائک کسٹمر انوائسز سیلری سلیپس ایسیٹرا آئی ہیو ریٹن دس ڈاکومنٹ ایز ویل وچ ول بی اپلوڈیڈ آن ای آر پی اسٹاف ڈاٹ کام Uh, this video is to explain this document so just to have further details about uh, this feature and how to use it okay let's move my name is Malik Skandar Hayat and I will be presenting this video okay today we will cover in this video <clears throat> uh, I assume that you can develop XML report and that is not the scope of this uh, document or video then from this report we will take xml path which we will use in the busting file then we will create an X, uh, xml busting file then we will set the temporary directory in oracle applications then i will show you how to protect pdf files let's say for example if it is a salary slip then you might protect it with the password just like you are uh, receiving um, an e statement from your bank and it says that your password is your last four digit of your account things like that then uh, just uh, how to do the FTP as well okay <clears throat> let's move next okay <clears throat> first you have to develop your report uh, is it uh, customer invoices or uh, uh, salary slip or whatever okay then you have to register that in your application as a concurrent request okay <clears throat> now you have to while registering you have to note down these two parameters first is the language which you use there while registering uh, xml template and then territory so this is xml template settings it's because uh, in the bursting file you have to give these both uh, parameters right okay then you have to test your report is it working fine output is coming in PDF uh, in the report you have to add after report trigger uh, which I have shown here that code is below as well which you have to copy paste this is when you will uh, run a report after completing the report it will submit the request of uh, bursting so then it will send the email automatically so you don't need to do it manually right and the code is here you can use this one it will take the submitted request and it will submit the bursting program this is the bursting program right which is hard, co uh, hard coded there so you don't need to change anything just uh, add this as a uh, after report trigger right okay then move to next compile the report and upload the respective folder in the server so now after report trigger is added so you have to recompile and upload again okay now we will submit the same report which we uh, registered above but in this time we will remove the template right in the submission form uh, details are here right under the options and uh, you will remove this one so it should not use PDF so since uh, template will not be there it will create a simple HTML file like below this one right now you have to take a few things from here okay let's assume your customer code and all those things let's say transaction number I am assuming this transaction number is your invoice number right so this is your header this uh, this all is your header right and this will be replicated for each uh, uh, invoice number or uh, customer and same will be for a salary slip if it is a salary slip then you will have the employee uh, employee code right so in this header you will have the email as well and uh, other details like I have shown sample over here okay from here you have to note down this path if you see here above so this is the first header then under this list G transaction number and then G transaction number this G transaction number this is our header so under this header other lines or details will be uh, replicated 
okay now let's move next so uh, we have noted down this one okay now next is xml bursting file this is important this is really important okay now let me move this to next page so it will be easy to read fight okay you can copy this one and uh, paste in the notepad then you can i will show you how to upload it as a now you have to make some changes here we took the if you see here there are bold bold means here you have to make changes others you don't need to do so we will take that path from the above we copied from the xml file here this should be exactly same as per your file output file then uh, you need your email server ip address you can contact your network team to uh, share with you and then the port so for exchange default is 25 uh, you might have different so you can take that one then let's say for example you will have the email address it is up to you whichever you want to uh, provide here okay then i have message id message id is very important because same should be below here if you see here the delivery right here right so this is making it unique so since i make it variable so for each invoice number my message id and this delivery will remain same right this is important if you will uh, make mistake here email will not be sent okay two this i am taking as a variable from my header right and then cc if you want to keep cc you can keep it there up to you attachment is equal to leave as it is here this is subject is equal to whatever you want to keep it the subject right then you can put it variables these are header variables just keep in mind uh, you will not take from the details it should be the header under this under this right directly under this okay dear party please and then see here i have used another variable dollar and then in the brackets and the variable and close you can put it there up to here see this is my email body i kept it bold you can change it you can modify it accordingly okay here my message will end right here my email tag will end now next is let me put some space here okay here this line what i am doing i am sending email as well as i am keeping copy of pdf file in a folder let's say on my server i have a folder and then in this folder i am keeping each invoice so it will keep one pdf file as well right okay then i have here delivery this will this will this is for email okay delivery is equal to invoice number is same like we have here message id then we have template type is equal to rtf location is equal to xdo this is if this is your module name in which you have the report registered then you have this is your report name right then en the language which i showed you above that you have to note it down and this this is the country code because we registered under oman so om is shortcut for the oman and then you can keep as it is that's it your control file is ready now save it as uh, xml file i have mentioned here that uh, if you save as uh, text uh, sorry in the notepad it will uh, de by default save as a text so what you have to do you have to change here save as type all types all files and in the file name dot xml and double quotes on the both side right and then save because now you will open this in the browser to check okay xml is formatted properly or not let's say for example if any flag is wrong tag is wrong it will not open or it will be broken so you have to make sure that all uh, 
tag if it is starting then it should end as well right so here it is starting x api delivery and let's say here it is getting end due to this uh, forward slash right okay our node uh, control file is ready busting control file and here i mentioned you have to open and check right uh, <coughs> now you have to upload this under your uh, xml uh, report you have to use xml publisher administrator responsibility uh, somewhere i will i have mentioned that as well like this administrator responsibility so under uh, under xml publisher under the template you open the template and then you uh, uh, sorry control uh, data file and under the data you have to upload this bursting control file this is the fourth one you have to make sure and then i think let me remove from here okay now you have to set the temporary file so xml publisher administrator responsibility you have to log in as and then home administration and then here you have to select uh, which should be on your server so you have to make sure that if this is uh, not writable or uh, there's no access so again you will not be able to create a pdf okay then you can submit your report and ideally you should receive an email as well as in that folder it will copy pdf as well so let's say for example i am assuming you have uh, 100 invoices or 100 sally slips so it will send 100 emails to the respective email addresses and same time you will have um, uh, in the local folder you will have number of files over there written. now the uh, limitation over here is that you can send one attachment per email this is the only limit, uh, limitation right so you can't have two uh, attachments okay now let's assume you are you you are able to send email using your exchange server or whatever now you want to protect your uh, pdf because let's say for example if you are sending email uh, sally slip as an email so you want to protect that okay open your uh, xml word template which you uploaded earlier uh, go to file info properties then advanced properties right okay it should be info properties let me update this document as well so it will be accurate okay then if you see here you need to set these two properties xdo pdf security and open password right uh, type will be both text and then first is true and second one will have you can keep two types of values one is dynamic which will take as a variable from your xml report or you can put it static as well so static means for all files the password will be same let's assume i am keeping it one two three four five six that means all pdf files will have the same password which i don't recommend okay now we will set this one here is the example uh, if let's say you have uh, uh, this is i'm preparing for salary slip because maybe customer they don't need password and voices or whatever but you can keep it over there as well with some logic but i'm giving you logic of salary slip let's say uh, a employee having this as a bank account salary bank account right one two three four five six seven eight uh, now in sql of my report what i will do i will include this as an header account is my account which is one two three four five six seven eight substring minus four so what it will do it will take last four digits you can have minus four minus six minus five whatever uh, whatever you like so it will take these values right and i am moving it to a variable key which i will use later for the password okay now another thing i, I will do replace account because this i have to send now instruction in my email this is hint i have to give them hint that what 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 is the password so what i will write here uh, please find your 
salary slip for the month of xxxx to open salary slip please uh, enter last four digits of your bank account one two three four x x x x right so this is a hint so now once he will open this file it will ask for the password so he will take last four digits which we are not displaying in our email right we have what we did we replace this with xxx right so now he can't see he or she he can't see they can't see so now <clears throat> let me show you uh, we went to info then on the right this is the properties then advanced properties it will show and then you have to click add <clears throat> once you will click add in the type you will put text sorry in the top let me put it like this see here name will be our property name uh, type will be text value is true for our first uh, variable right then the next property okay next property is pdf open password okay here i kept password as as uh, i will say constant erp stuff uh, else here what you will do you will enter let me show you the password see here so in the header file you will take this path let's say i'm assuming here pistop underscore sally slash amp slash key is my variable name or field name which I, which is there in my sql right so i will copy this one with these brackets and will paste in value of this property here so then it will become dynamic so for each employee it will take its uh, key and will set that password for that pdf so it will be a dynamic and then you can send the email and it will be password protected okay next is if you want to send your pdf via ftp or sftp this is the syntax here uh, you have to provide your ftp server name user id if it is same then you can make it uh, constant here uh, otherwise you can make it uh, dynamic like uh, variable based and then you will you can provide here the remote folder path and remote file so this will create your invoice name as a file name dot pdf sftp it is secured so it has the same syntax as above except this last two sorry this last one which is secure uh, dash ftp is equal to true else all same right uh, i hope so this will help you in uh, sending your uh, pdf file or writing locally or ftp um, pdf files uh, i tried this or uh, demonstrated this in version 12.1.3 you can check uh, as per your version point three right just for your details uh, thank you very much and keep visiting our channel uh, we will be uploading more videos on different topics already there are uh, videos on cloud uh, autonomous database etc and excel as well different features of uh, the functions of excel 2016 so you can keep visiting our uh, channel uh, which will be there in and i will provide the link of this document under the video and in erp stuff under the document i will provide the link of the video so you can uh, jump to both sites as you like thank you very much allah face